Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to my When They See Us Netflix miniseries review. Um, I didn't know anything about this uh, movie or anything when it was coming out. I sort of, uh, I got a quick trailer thing on my Netflix when I logged in. And uh, I read the synopsis of it. And I've always had a particular interest in stories about people, innocent people that end up going to prison. There was one I saw, the last one I saw before this was about a husband was a key, falsely uh, convicted of uh, killing his wife and the killer was out there who ended up killing again um, the uh, prosecutor withheld evidence from the defense team which is a legal uh, exonerating evidence and uh, he did 18 years and before that one of the first ones that I remember seeing were Paradise Lost um, about the Tennessee Three and this one is about the now called Exonerated Five who uh, were accused of doing a brutal attack and a rape on a woman who was messed up for life now um, in New York City back in 1989. Uh, if I had to describe this movie in one word, it would be powerful. This 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 movie is absolutely powerful. I also watched the When They See Us Oprah special, which was equally as powerful when you get to see the actual guys. and Man... You, they, they got a forty-one million dollar lawsuit, but you got to, you know, their attorneys probably took half of that and then split that four ways. It's, it's, it's not, you know, they're not. And, and regardless, like they said in in that Oprah discussion, um, that's not going to get them their time back that they lost. One of the guys wanted to play Major League Baseball or baseball. Um, man, I I can't believe that this stuff could happen. I think. You know, I like to think it's less likely to happen nowadays. Um, I don't know. Um, this, this movie really upset me that this happened, and I really felt for these guys. Um, Ava DuVernay um, knocked it out of the ballpark with this. I looked her up, and she also did 13th, another Netflix movie, which I also loved, um, about the mass incarceration, particularly of, of black men. Um, and she did Selma. Selma I liked. Um, not as I, I thought Thirteenth. I, I enjoyed Thirteenth better than Selma. She she does these movies about um, you know she she's black uh, about her experiences uh, or not experiences about you know c certain historical things that have happened in the United States. But she does it in a way that I think is very fair and not biased. Um, I will say she didn't need to put in the stuff about Donald Trump. I don't know why he didn't. He you know he wasn't the prosecutor. He didn't. He was. He's just you know. He, I always feel he has to add his, his two cents, but uh, whatever, whatever. Uh, I'd like to see her do a Marvel movie, actually. Um, I would love to see that. Um, she, I think at this point she's proven it. Th especially, this this is four hours. I think longer than four hours, because I, I, I think the last episode's a little longer than an hour. So it's, it's four episodes. Um, uh, the guys who play the convicted when they're young are Asante Black, Khalil Harris, Ethan... Heresy, I want to say, Harris, I'm sorry. Uh, Jarrell Jerome, Marquis Rodriguez. Now, I think Jarrell Jerome in particular, he's the only one who plays the both the young and the older version. Um, that guy, the character he plays, I mean, he's not a character, it's a real person. Um, ended up going to a adult prison when he was 16, and he had a... Oh, it was, it was awful. <laughs> so awful. Especially knowing that he didn't do it, and he was kind of like a special needs uh, child. Um, it, it, it's, you, you can tell. And uh, I think Jarrell Jerome deserves an Emmy for this performance. <clears throat> this guy seems familiar. I don't know. Um, I wasn't sure where I'd seen him before. Or if he'd, if he'd been anything. I guess, um, yeah, he was in Moonlight, I think, as, as one of the friends. Um, but that's the only movie that I can remember him being in, um, was Moonlight. <clears throat> I think he plays the interest, if I'm not mistaken, of the main character. But, uh, either way, I highly recommend this. If you have Netflix, uh, check it out. It's four episodes. Um, I, I just, I just binged the whole thing. It, it wasn't drawn out. It was well paced. Um... I just wanted to see what was happening. Each episode is... They clearly had, like, a thesis uh, for each episode. And they went through it masterfully. Ava DuVernay also deserves an Emmy for this. Um, and the, the whole miniseries does, really. Um, this is one of the best things I've seen on Netflix in quite a while. 
Um, you know, with that together with murder mystery, um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, actually, in, in general, Netflix really is 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 proving over and over that they can do great things. Especially, I think because they're they're making so much money hand over fist, they can take more risks and thus allow the artists or filmmakers a bit more uh, freedom in telling this, their story and that's why you end up with such high quality product because you don't end up with so many corporate overlords um, hovering over you you know trying to tell you oh, I'll do it this way or that way um, John Leguizamo is also in this um, uh, Vera Farmiga uh, there are <coughs> The, the adult actors were good, but for some reason, I, I think the ones who played the children stuck with me a little more. I think that's because the grown-up adults, uh, or the adults, they were only in one episode, I think. Um, and and that, that really is why Drill Jerome shines the most, because he was in all four. Uh, played both young and old. He's just the perfect age, and, and he, he, he did a magnificent job. John Leguizamo was really good in this, too. And so was Vera Farmiga. Um, she was a prosecuting attorney. Um, there, there, there's a huge, huge, uh, cast in this. I'm not going to get into all of them, um, but everyone was stellar, um, and, 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 and more so than anyone, Eva, Eva DuVernay, uh, wow, 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 wow. I cannot wait to see what she does next. So I highly recommend this movie. Go see it. Uh, let me know what you guys thought. Leave your comments below. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Okay, bye.